So far, it's 81 companies. 81 companies that have announced bonuses, wage increases, benefits expansions, a combination of those or all three. So far, 81 companies. In fact, I have a piece here in the stack by the guy that does the Dilbert cartoon. His name is Scott something, and he's got a... I'm having a metal block on his... On his uh, Scott Adams, that's who it is. And he has a, a theory that we need to change the way presidential approval polls are taken. His headline... President Trump, and it's his blog, Dilbert.com, President Trump earns the highest presidential approval level of all time. The Small Business Optimism Index hit an all-time high, and that is the new presidential approval poll. I contend that business optimism and small business optimism in particular are the new standard for presidential approval because economics captures most of what a president influences. The point is that all the big issues directly influence the economy via their impact on our psychology, our resources. In a free capitalist country, the economy captures all the goodness and all the badness of a presidency without really trying. And the measure that best reflects the future of the economy, in my opinion, is small business optimism. Again, this is Scott Adams at the Dilbert blog. He also makes this point. And if you are still worried about President Trump's mental health, I'm going to do a periscope later today and tell you how badly the media has abused that public on the topic. For a preview, check out this interview that Dr. Drew did with Dr. Bandy Lee on her opinions of President Trump's mental health. Remember this, Dr. Dr. Bandy Lee? We talked about this earlier this week. What is your memory of her? Let's just check something here. What is your memory of Dr. Bandy Lee? She's the psychiatrist. What What is your memory of what she said? She claimed that Trump is mentally unfit. She claimed they, they, no, wait a minute. It was reported that she claimed Trump is mentally unfit and should not be in office. And it's so bad that even psychiatrists who have not personally seen Trump have a duty to analyze him and be truthful. Well, it turns out that Dr. Drew, not to be confused with Dr. Dre, straight out of Compton, this is Dr. Drew Pinsky. Dr. Drew did an interview with Dr. Bandy Lee on her opinions of Trump's mental health. Now, the media reported her as saying that he was mentally unfit, but that's not what she said. She has no professional opinion on the president's mental capacity because she's never met him. Her primary concern is about societal violence as a result of his presidency. That is a completely different take from what has been reported. And so Scott Adams says that he's going to nominate that story for the fake news awards. It could be a finalist. They reported this woman acting as a psychiatrist, claimed that Trump is unfit for office and should be dispatched. And she didn't say that. She didn't even get close to saying that, yet it was reported. And it was part of a story where 35 other shrinks also said supposedly the same thing. So 81 companies and counting And it's only going to increase because the competition for qualified, competent labor is going to heat up. And that's when the opportunity for employees to make out really well even increases. Now,